Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Vedant Dashmukhle from D2 section. Today's session about uh, shop talk. So my topic is uh, heat treatment. So first one, introduction. So heat treatment is a sequence of heating and cooling operation designed to get the desired combination of properties in metals and alloys in solid state. It is an important operation in the manufacturing process of engineering component. Uh, by heat treatment, not only possible to change the properties of material, but also change the properties of material and also to impart the high mechanical properties in the uh, applications. So next point is, so next point is uh, process of heat treatment. Firstly, st uh, steel is heated to the high temperature, is called actionizing temperature. In this, uh, in this uh, process, the previous structure of steel is converted into the actionizing phase. So second, uh, so second, uh, steel, uh, after reaching the steel uh, actionizing phase, steel is held at this temperature, uh, temperature for specific duration, is called as soaking period. Uh, after that, still having homogeneous actionizing structure, is cooled back at room temperature, uh, particular time, uh, as per uh, requirement, we are cooling down slowly. Uh, if necessary, still uh, still is reheated and uh, cool again uh, in the room temperature. So uh, next point, uh, process. Uh, so next point is uh, heat treatment purpose. There are some purpose. Firstly, to relieve the internal stress. Second, to improve the machinability, to restore ductility, uh, to refine the grain, uh, etc. Next, uh, or some the to homogeneous the microstructure uh, to get the desired hardness to reduce distortion to remove the uh, machining stress. After that, uh, uh, conching. Conching is the part of the treatment. In this conching, uh, the uh, highly heated uh, steel is going to uh, pull back at the room temperature and there are some different types of media uh, for punching. The, there are uh, the, the different types. First one is uh, water, greener, caustic, polymer, oil, metal, salt and gases. So next point, uh, types of furnace. Furnace is required for uh, heat uh, treatment. Furnace like uh, work, like work, uh, uh, boiler. So there are two groups. First one is the batch furnace. Second one is the conveyor. Batch furnace used for the uh, small uh, small uh, component and uh, conti uh, continuous furnace used for the larger and heavier uh, components. So batch furnace converted. Uh, batch furnace divided into the box furnace, mug furnace, pit furnace, lip top uh, door furnace, and bogie head furnace. And continuous furnace divided into the conveyor furnace, uh, rotary hull furnace, and uh, tunnel furnace. The so next point is the heat treatment types. There are some types. First one, trace relieving. Second, annealing, uh, normalizing, hardening, tempering, case hardening, uh, surface uh, hardening, etc. There are, uh, there are, uh, this is the heat treatment flowchart. Mm. Uh, how to divide the types of uh, uh, treatment? Uh, you can see this. Next point is advantage of heat treatment. Uh, heat treatment can provide some benefits such as uh, increase the strength, uh, improve the wear resistance, better dimensional uh, stability, uh, increase the toughness. So thank you. Any doubt?